What's going on guys, Civil here, I'm dropping some insider knowledge in this video. Now this is taken from a VOD from one of my episodes over on my Twitch channel, CivU. I do these bi-weekly Sunday nights at 9pm Eastern. Links in the description below to my Twitch, make sure you guys check that out. I stream about four times a week, all different types of stuff. All Madden though, of course. So, with that being said, we're going to roll the intro, get into it. I'm super excited, I think you guys will learn something. Make sure you stick around for the entire video. Let's get into it, let's go. <laughs> If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure you check out my offensive and defensive ebooks over on acemadden.com. Links will be in the description below. I guess obviously to start off, we're going to be talking about don't be dumb. And for that, I'm going over to the PC. You guys see me? You see multiple. It's kind of like the Matrix right now. Let's go over here. And we're actually going to be talking about my game against Nick Hacko. Nick's actually one of my good friends. It's my This is my club game, Final 16. Winner goes to the Final 8 and is one game away from Madden. But let me fix this a little bit. Somebody's out of content, huh? No, actually, I do actually, uh, I do actually like this. This is something I wanted to, uh, that I wanted to talk about. Let me, let me pause this, actually. We'll start it afterwards. Let's pause this. Uh, go back to it. Nick Hackle game. So, some of you guys watched this live, and obviously some people did not. Uh, so this Bucks Club Championship, already won Bucks Club, beat Boogs. This is later that day against Nick Hackle. Once again, really good friend of mine. And this is a game where, and by the way, nothing I say is going to be like discrediting Nikako. Of course, Nikako is a very, very good player. He beat, he beat good players. What's good, NFC? Three months for NFC. What's good, brother? Um, and obviously, Nikako beat good players to get here. So nothing I say here is taken away from him. But I do want to talk about some things that I did wrong here, especially. And so we'll start off with this player here at 235. Um, this is obviously part of the Don't Be Dumb segment. And... Let's just see. Let's just see exactly what I'm talking about. So, obviously, he's in main line defense right here. You guys see it? He's in 3-4 main line. I actually love playing against this defense here uh, well, nowadays. But back then, I wasn't super comfortable against it. But I did have some things I like doing against it nonetheless. And you're going to see me really not do a lot of them and do things, a lot of things that I'm really not good or I'm really not super comfortable with. And I kind of started trying to freestyle. And I'm not a freestyler. I don't think many people are. So, one example is right here, right, where I try to freestyle on the run. And you're going to see me... This route combo, it honestly isn't terrible against uh, Mana Line. It really isn't terrible against Mana Line, especially if he's shading outside and up because these drags will go open this corner route, will beat Man. So he's going to have to use this corner route most likely. It's just not something I've ever done. You guys have never, ever. Tyler, I did that at the end of the game. Uh, it's something I tr um, I've never, ever ran before, really, besides just like fucking around. And honestly, it's really just not that great of a route combo. Um, it's okay. Um, I'm obviously afraid of him setting the blitz right here. You guys, you guys see, I'm max protecting. I set up my pass protection. And. Nonetheless, uh, it's something I'm not super comfortable with. It's, I'm just not comfortable of playing against this at all. And you're going to see the biggest thing, the biggest way you could tell that I'm not comfortable with this at all. And this is why when you're playing in any kind of tournament, anything that you actually care about, not, you know, if you're just fucking around, it doesn't really matter that much. But if you're locking into weekend league, you're locking into a money game, whatever, you have to run things you're comfortable with. Because check this out, right? I've never ran this before, and I have beat wide open. But because I've never ran it before, my reads are all kind of fucked up. I'm rolling out, and I'm only looking over here, whereas this B is still wide open. There's no defender on that side of the field. Literally, there's no defender on this side of the field, guys. There's nobody. Literally, look, the drag coming across. Just nobody's over here. This is damn near... Po it, it's probably not a touchdown. It's not a touchdown, but it's, it's a first down. It's a first down. All, and all I have to do is sit in the pocket. But once again, because I'm uncomfortable with this play call, I'm uncomfortable against the defense he's running, I'm just being dumb. I'm being dumb. I have plays that I want to run against this. And I'm not running them for, honestly, I don't know why. And it's something that I, I like. I never run that play. You guys will never, ever see me run that play again in clubs. And you guys will probably never see me run that play ever again. Exactly, Mundo. It's a first down a lot more. But... And obviously, like, to the naked eye, yeah, it looks really stupid. Like, obviously, I, I, miss a, I miss a read. But the reason behind it is because I've never ran this before. I roll out for no reason. You guys see, look at the pocket. There's no reason to roll out right here. There's none. There's none. Now, I'm afraid of a blitz, sure. But there's no reason to roll out right here. He sends three, I think, or maybe four. He sends four. We get the chop block. And I try rolling out to be able to hit, I think, to be able to hit this corner. But, like, it, it, it's not open. There's, like, and I have B. I have B wide open. I have B wide open. Excuse me. That's just an example of like when you're running shit you're not comfortable with. 
I, unless you're one of the best people in the world who could do that, which if you're in the chat, you're probably not one of those people. Just to be honest with you, like, most people aren't freestylers. I'm not. I'm not very good at freestyling like that. But like, it's one of the things where like, if you're just not comfortable with it, you're going to struggle a lot. And right here, I'm running a route combo that, honestly, I I'm okay with this route combo uh, against Send 5. But once again, just being uncomfortable, just being like, you can tell I'm super uncomfortable. And actually, I don't like this route combo against Mana Line. I really don't. And if you guys want to see how uncomfortable I am and how just dog shit I played this game, look at A. Watch A. Wait for it. I have a touchdown. I have a touchdown right here. But I'm not comfortable against this at all. And we do take we we do take an uh we do that and we get a decent gain and we we're able to get the first down to play after off a quick inside zone really fast on fourth and inches because he was in bad defense. But, I mean, it's just kind of an example of, like, if you don't feel comfortable, and that's why you kind of have to, like, start, you have to be able to feel comfortable against whatever you think you might see. What's well, going to ancient focus. Um, and this is just an example of, on the biggest stage, I really wasn't comfortable against this defense. And for whatever reason, uh, I had played this defense multiple times, and I, I, there was plays I wanted to run against this defense. I told myself before the tournament, hey, I'm going to run, you know, these four or five plays. I really don't run them ever. I really never run them. I think right here I call a terrible play. If I'm not mistaken right here. Let me see. Let's try. Like this play call right here. Th this makes no sense. This this play call is awful. I send four routes out against either a seven-man blitz or a three-man blitz. Never ever do you want to do this. And this is a rule I told myself. This is literally, literally something I tell myself that you never ever want to do. And I do it anyways, and he sends a seven-man blitz, and we end up getting sacked. Because it's just a terrible, it's, it's just, it's bad. It's bad. I'm being stupid. I'm not thinking. I think we can keep on going. A second is 16. What do I do here? I mean, you guys see back-to-back -back plays damn near where I'm just being stupid. Once again, we're sending a four-man route combo out that I don't know why I am. I really don't. And I'm just playing totally unlike myself because against Duke, who ran, who ran a similar defense, I was fine against. Right here, I mean, we take the drag underneath, it worked out. Once again, it's just a terrible route. It, it's a bad route combo for the defense he's running. And this is more of a baseline defense that I'd want to run this route combo against. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is, too, a lot of times you'll want specific route combos for certain meta defenses that you're going to find as well. And this is one of them right here, actually. This is one of the route combos I'm a big fan of that I run right here. Uh, and this is me starting to get back into the groove of things. I think he does bag this, actually. Let's see. Uh, no, actually... No, like once again right here, I'm trying to I'm looking for a touchdown right here. And that's just not the play call. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm sending five out, which isn't terrible, but I think he okay, he does bluff blitz. And he actually bags the hell out of this play. So we're just gonna throw it away, I think. Yeah, we just take a sack. Yo, what's good, NYKI? What's going on, brother? But I mean look like I mean you guys see an entire drive damn near killed by me just being stupid and I mean like I said, like this segment's called Don't Be Dumb. And I'm just being dumb. I'm not. I, I don't. I'm not prepared. Um. And I just don't have what I want. Um. I'm just not doing the things I'm supposed to be doing that I want to do. And I mean, we can keep going to another drive here. I think it's right before or right. It's right before half. I throw a pick. Let's see this. Yeah. So I mean, we're getting close. So right here, I try bombing them. This is a play I run a lot. And right here, I mean, I, we just throw it away. It's good defense by him. And I'm just looking, right there, I'm looking for a bailout. I can't lie. I'm 5 for 7 still. It's not like bad. Not like I'm bad. I mean, I got 3 in my first drive. This is my second drive of the game. So it's not like I'm playing bad, at, like terrible at this point in terms of like where I'm at in the game. Uh, he gets ball at half. I have a chance to, you know, take the lead going to half. So I feel okay. But right here, I mean, we're going to see an example. I think either second down or third down. And this is an example of a terrible play call. I never, ever, ever, did I lose this game? I did. I did. This is round of 16 in clubs. Uh, you see, obviously, Bucks Club champion against the Saints Club champion. Um, and this right here is a play call that I hate against Mana Line. This, pl this play call, the idiot beater, sucks against Mana Line. This, this is terrible. This is really, really bad. Because this guy's going to get pressed. This guy's going to get pressed. And so you only have three routes, really. And if a user's right here, you only have A. It's just not a good route combo. It's really not a good route combo at all. And I told myself this. I have that as a rule for myself that I'm never going to do that if that's the situation. But for some reason, I forget. And even right here, we try highballing that and unable to get inbounds. 
So, very next play. This one, I'm actually very upset with myself on. We go to new play. So, you guys see always, you know, I'm always at this screen right here where I just have post, RPO, X smoke, and PAY corner. And I always call post. Post is my play call here. Instead, I go to PAY corner. This corner route's a little bit deeper. But I've never actually ran this play before. I've never ran this play before. And for some reason, at the biggest moment or the biggest game of my life, I decide that now would be a good time to try this play out against the defense I just saw. And it made sense because I thought I, I thought this corner would get above his get above his uh, cloud. But my setup's terrible. Once again, we're in this setup. I've never ran this play before. I've literally never ran this play before. You guys see the post coming across the drag. And it's really not the worst thing in the world. But right here, third and ten. And even, once again, guys, look. You guys want to see if I've ever ran this route, this route combo before? Here's another example. Watch my post. Watch my post. He gets away from it. I have B. I have it. But instead, we throw a pick. I try forcing because I've never ran this. I've never ran this before. And I'm like the majority of you guys where if I can't freestyle like that. I can't freestyle and make reads like that. Like, I have to know what I'm doing. I have to feel comfortable in what I'm doing. And, I mean, we even had Y for a second, too, I think. Let's see. Let's see here. Look, I'm pretty sure we had Y. But instead, I just try forcing it super late like an idiot. A little pick. And that's another possession ended. Uh, because I'm just trying to do, I'm just trying to be weird. Or I'm trying to get fancy. Like right here, ah, the linebacker might be able to click on and make a play, maybe. Or this guy can. Maybe. But instead, I hold off on it. I try throwing it super late as he sits on the sideline. And he's able to come all the way back across with Troy Palamu. And able to get a pick. And you see... What's funny is if you listen to me during this game, right, you can hear me calling myself an idiot. You can hear me, like, I know I'm playing terrible. I know I'm playing, like, dog shit right here. Right here, I mean, you can just see me. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated myself. I'm very, very frustrated myself. Uh, so let's go a little bit further into the game. We played good D. We're not in a terrible spot. We're not in a terrible spot at this point in the game. And we have an ad, of course. Palamalu. Tyler with the freaking redemption. Palamalu. Let's get through this ad real quick, boys. Boom, skip it. Oh, and the Troy. <laughs> Link your Twitch account to get Troy Palamalu. We see, actually, we're able to come back and we get a lurk right here. We do get a lurk right here. Or actually, the play before, right? And this is actually a really bad play from him. See, I'm right here, and I come back, and it's just, it is a really bad play by him. But I think, do we come down, we can come down and tie the game. And then, we're actually going to let up a touchdown here in a second. Running, I, I ran cover three cloud, I've never ran cover three cloud before. I have never ever ran cover three cloud before. I decided to run it right here. And because I'm running something new, I don't know what beats it. Uh, he gets a one-point touchdown. Check this out, right? B, wide open for a touchdown. And once again, so not only have I missed points, I, I've missed seven points by trying by running new stuff mid-game. I've also now let up seven points by running new stuff mid-game. So a 14-point point swing, damn near. And I mean, we can go... Right here, this is something I labbed a little bit. This run right here, I labbed a little bit against this defense. I should have went to this earlier. This is actually something that I was prepared to do against this defense. And for some reason, I'm just now getting to it. You'll see me spam this a little bit. You'll see me spam this run a couple times. Uh, as soon as they get back to the actual game. Because this was a run that I was actually very, very prepared to start spamming against this defense. This is one of the things I prepared for. Uh, and that's how I wanted to attack this defense was this run right here. Uh, and for some reason, I'm just now going to it. Once again, you guys see, you know, it's getting fairly good gains consistently. And I think I do it again here. I think uh, once again, oh, right here, I throw the bubble. I, I already remember this. I throw the bubble right here. And now I'm, I'm, I'm doing something that I prepared. And I mean, I have answers. I have answers. But then he ends up blowing it up once. And we go back to just terrible route combos. I think, what do we do here? Because this isn't the final route combo. Let's see. 
they were going back to this, and I'm just not a huge fan against this of against this defense. But right here, we do have the post, but he ends up going off of X, and we're able to hit the curl. So I mean, that's all right. That's doing okay, but it's just not. I mean, you can tell if you watch this game back, I don't feel comfortable at all. Second and 13. Down seven. We're going to this, and this this route combo makes no sense against what he's doing on defense. Although we are able to pick up the pressure. And I I just feel so, so out of it in this. I mean, you can check, check this out, right? Check Hill. I feel so out of it right here. Where I had this late. And this is a throw where I made multiple times up here. I just don't actually throw it way too late. I'm out of bounds. And I, once again, I'm frustrated. I'm just super frustrated. And we tried forcing Hill in the very next play. We're in the very same play. Forced Hill the next play. Out of bounds. And we are kicking our three. 13-10. And that's damn near all she wrote. We're actually able to get a decent play. So check this out. Right, We we have a money drive still. I played terrible and we're still only down four. I actually turned on subtitles. Don't mean to do that. Check this out. Right, We're only down four. We have a money drive right here. But once again, we're, we're running we're running a dog shit route combo. Uh, this uh, this was the old one. You guys haven't seen me do this a lot. This had to do a pass lead. You guys see that? But I just don't. I hate it against I hate it against main line defense. I really do. It's bad against main line defense. And it's some. Let me thumbs up this video. It's something that it, it like it is just bad. It's something I felt so 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 uncomfortable with. And that's like why it's so so huge to be able to feel comfortable against certain defenses, especially things that you think you're gonna see or be able to find comfortability quick in the game. And that's something I could never do in this game. You have to be able to find comfortability quick in the game and don't be stupid. Because, like, right here, you see multiple, multiple, multiple just stupid play calls. Two-minute warning. I mean, I'm trying to make this the last possession of the game. I'm trying to make this the last possession of the game right here. Hi, I'm Trot. Once again, I mean, let's just see what I run. I'm going back to the... Yeah, this is a terrible, this is a terrible outcome though. This doesn't make any sense for the defense he's running. Even though it kind of gets open, we're able to hit that drag. It just, it, it's still a bad route combo against the defense he's running. There's no reason to send four routes to go out against a defense that's either sending seven or sending three at you. There's no reason to do that, and I'm doing that consistently, and I know that to myself too. I knew that beforehand because if you got, if you watch my game against Duke, you see me playing damn near the same defense, and I don't think I throw any completion. I throw like one incompletion all game. Like the exact same thing. But first and ten right here. This this play, I'm going to take a sack. Uh, it's actually a really bad sack. Um, I run a really bad route combo once again. Yeah, I'm back at the idiot beater, I think. I think I stick with this. Let's see if I do. Or I might be changing. Nah. So, yeah, I go here. And this isn't the worst thing in the world, actually. But I'm just, I've never ran it before. And I'm just, it is not good. So I'm, I'm running a bunch of stuff that I'm just not used to in the least bit. And we get through this ad. But I was running stuff that I've never, like, I've just, you've never seen me run that route combo. You've never ever seen me run that route combo. Let's go expose. And the next play, you guys are going to laugh at this. This is a funny play, the next play. We try to pro uh, protect Gotham on the next play with this. And we end up getting cheated, kind of. Kind of getting cheated. Let's try this out. We got a diving. We got the diving catch. I kind of fucked it up a little bit. We got the diving catch nonetheless, but we actually got hit in mid air, and and he got tipped up for a pick, which is frustrating. And right there, that's damn near all she wrote. We did not get the ball back, and I ended up losing. And you guys see, it was a close game. I messed up multiple times, and I, and nonetheless, I still had a chance to win. But I just would never felt comfortable. Never did I feel comfortable. Can you say you got cheated? Uh, if you do the glitch right, yes. If it's a consistent glitch, which it is. But, so with that wrapping that up, let's go back to Civ University. I'm not going to lie. I said don't be dumb and do what works. Uh, that kind of covered both. But I'm going to talk about, obviously, as we switch over to do what works. Um, you're going to see these two come pretty close together. I'm actually going to be showing my game against Buck Sweep. Uh, let's go Civil. Buck Sweep. There we go. Compton 187. My guy. Oh, I don't think I can show that. I might get in trouble for that. Alright, so 
Check this out. This is this is probably my funniest shit ever. So he actually goes down, and gets he ends up getting seven. But I don't want to show it. So this once again, we're talking about doing what works here, right? Let me make sure I get my Twitch chat pulled up. Gotta show the clip. You want, oh, you want to see the clip where I politely tell him to hurry the fuck up? Alright, let's see. It's somewhere out here, bro. Check this out, bro. It's been... We're two minutes into the game. This dude has not snapped the ball yet. He has not snapped a fucking play yet. He is take, he's taking two delay games up to this point. He's taking two delay games up to this point. Just note that. Please note that, everybody. This dude was taking his sweet fucking time. Oh, he finally... Okay, so did he burn a timeout? Did he? I gotta see. I gotta see. Be Colts, what's good, bro? Where is it, bro? I gotta see. Because there, there is the clip of me saying... Bro, where is it, bro? He takes it. I decline it. Change scene. Am I still fucked? Oh, shoot. My bad. My bad, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Grizzle. All right. All right, let me get Twitch up here. Boom. There we go. There we go. My fault. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. All right, so here we are against Bug Sleep, right? I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show this because there's some point here where I tell him, I tell him I'm not declining anymore. And I, I'm annoyed right here, bro, because he's taken two delay games already. We are two minutes into this video. He's taken two delay games already. Ah, oh, where is it, bro? I, I don't know. I don't know where it is, bro. It's it's somewhere. Oh, it's it's after this play. It's after this play. This guy t tries taking another delay game, and I'm I'm pissed at this point. Watch this shit. Check this shit out, right? Let's fast forward a little bit. <laughs> he tries taking another one, bro. I look at him and say, I'm not, no, I'm not taking another one. Like, look at the... And he's like... <laughs> oh, but nonetheless. That's good. I want to talk about me on offense. I want to talk about me on offense. I think this is where some, uh, something a lot of people struggle. So, Alright, so I got offense here. Notice I don't have to take no fucking delay games. And this guy's in bad defense, so I run the idiot beater. But you're going to see, the idiot beater's open early. And so I just keep throwing it damn near every play. Uh, you guys see the idiot beater, you guys all know this if you ever watch me. Idiot beater one. Five yards. Second and seven. Idiot beater. Boom. Out route. Boom. You see me? I do this a ton. Third and two. You're actually gonna see me fuck it up, but not, I do the same exact shit. I do this, I like I do the same thing. I just fuck it up actually, and I throw it out of bounds. But like, I see he's in defense. I know this is gonna be open, so I have no reason to stop doing it right here. I, it's open, but I just fuck up the throw. But look, check this out. Right, fourth and two. Like, like this is crazy to me. Fourth and two. I've thrown the same ball three times in a row. I just throw it again. And so many people would switch up their play calling there. So many people would switch up their play. There's no reason to. You know, I knew, I knew. I used to be methodical as hell. Just do, like, do what's working. There's, like, so many people would say, like, I have so many people tell me, right, check this out. I have so many people tell me, yo, Siv, like, I can't do it. Uh, I, I can't throw it, whatever, whatever. Like, a lot, most people bag it or whatever. I promise you, most people don't. And Buck Sleep... He's not the best player in the world. Like, he's not... He, he really isn't... But this isn't the first time he's even made a, a live. He's made the Final Four of a club before. So, like, he, he's... Can, he's Every year, he's a top 300 player in the world. Every year, he's better than most people in the chat. He is. You know, because this is not his first time being at this stage. Of being in the Final Four of a club. This isn't. So, it's not like he's a dog shit player. He's a decent player. He's a solid... Like, he, you know what I mean? And once again, we just run the same shit again. And we just this time, we just throw it to the corner route. And you might flood him, Gator and QB Coach. You might. But you see, we're, we're five plays. Five plays in, I've ran the same play five times in a row. I've ran the same play five times in a row. The same exact play five times in a row. I think, I think here... Oh, vo voice crack. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I eventually run Trap because I see that Trap's wide open. Those people play different? Yeah, yeah, they do. They play different on the stage. They play different when things are on the line. They absolutely do. And right here, I did not. Oh, yeah, I, I did. Because I ended a quarter. I ended a quarter right there. 
This oh, he starts setting up his big dime audibles, but I don't think he ever runs big dime. So the second four, I think this is where I hit him with. This is one of my favorite route combos against this. Deep. Oh no! Look, it's six plays in a row. Six plays in a row. I run the same play because I have more than one option on the play, and I'm doing what works. I know he can't defend it. And that goes to say, I'm running the same pass play. Yo, guys, I'm not going to lie. When you're playing for money and shit, as I hate saying this. Uh, Tyler, so the point of the running back ability, right, was for me to throw the wheel and to be able to juke out, because I used to run this play a bunch, right, was to be able to throw the wheel on the idiot beater and juke out the corner in a quad flat. That was the point of it. And it was super good. I never actually, it never got utilized correctly, like, on the stage like this in any of my live games, but, like, in, in all my rep games, especially on the boards, it was super awesome. You got you and Duke. Uh, yeah, I could, Noah. Yeah. I probably won't go over that in this game so much. I mean, I could talk about it. I talked about it before, though. But, I mean, even so, like, I'm doing the same pass play over and over again, right? And I'm just hitting different options. The same thing goes with, bro, like, if you have a run play that's working, there's no reason to just randomly stop going to it. Like, really. Really. Make make these dudes... Yeah, Duke invented it. Make these dudes... Show that they can stop whatever it is that you're running, bro. And I hate running the ball. I will never, ever spam run plays like that. Unless I find out it works on the big stage. When, like, something matters. Because then I will, of course. I think right here... Was it six plays in a row? Pass lead. I want everybody... Everybody to ever tell me pass lead sucks. Pass lead sucks, Civ. Pass lead sucks. I used to be fucking deadly with this shit. Look at this shit. Look at B. Once again, I'm running the same play, and I've thrown it to a bunch of different players. Right here. Boom. Oh, my God. That's a hitch for fucking 14 yards. Fuck you. I'm 6 or 7. Pass lead sucks if you don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it right now. It's, it's a lot of it's muscle memory. And I'm singing right here, too. Well, so first and 10. Oh, he's in big dime. He's in big dime. How do you think this works? How do you think this works for him? What do you think happens here? You guys have any fucking ideas? Really? I've been doing that shit since fucking July. But all I did that possession was just do, do shit that I knew. And he, the way he played offense, bro, he was such a bazooka. This dude was such a bazooka on offense, bro. Literally, Denzel Ward. Oh my gosh. This was also before people knew about the low hit sticks to catch people from behind, too. Denzel Ward made a hell of a player right there. And 4th and 10... This guy doesn't know what he's doing. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you, Tyler, bro. I look, I look, I look tough as hell. I think does he punt this? How do I get a stop? Fourth and ten. Oh, we bear. This is my bear, by the way. If you guys watch my bear, like against like bunch, like the other day, this is when I used to run it a lot, uh, because I have like no cap on my defense, so I just need blitzes coming free. So the best way to do that is to send send eight. So I did that a lot. You see right here? We actually, the blitz, the blitz comes in and we're able to, I could have picked six that too, by the way. That was genuinely the stage making me, I hit X for some reason. That was me, like, I don't know. I choked on the stage. I could have picked six that, probably. Uh, final four of your club. But right here, guys, I actually came out in the wrong half, so I just, oh, I, yeah, I came out in the wrong half, so I said fucking run inside zone right here, I think. Because I don't want to pass the ball like this. I didn't want to flip it. So we just run the ball real quick and we have jukebox to get somebody off of us. And I think, I think we were cool taking this to the half, because I get ball at half, too. So I think I take this, or to the two-minute warning. That's partly why I ran that ball, because I wanted to go to two-minute warning. And I'm singing the fuck out of this. I can't lie. I'm singing the fuck out of this. 125 people in here. I appreciate y'all, by the way. Why were you singing? Uh, I was, so, like, my biggest thing, right, is that a lot of people, like, freak out when they get on the stage or anything like that, because, I mean, I have thousands of people watching me. There's a lot of money on the line. I told myself I just wanted to have fun. And do whatever I had fun with and not really try to think about the fact that, like, thousands of people are watching me right now. What? Or, like, and whatnot, right? So, like, oh, excuse me. Um, I'm just saying because, I don't know, singing is fun. I love singing. My friends all know that, too. Like, I sing a lot. I'm, I like that dude. Club payout? Uh, I won 5,500 from winning my club. But it changes every year. Like, one year, is like, I don't know. It changes every year. But right here, like, I know Trap's going to work against this front. I think I run Trap, actually. Or I, I guess I don't. Maybe I do. I don't know if I do, but I, I trap works against this front right here. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I wanted the jukebox right there too, but the trap does work. It just, uh, his user came in free. What's good. B Colts. What's going on, brother? 
But I mean, look, like, I'm gonna go back to, I think, what play? Oh, I go back to the curl post right here. So I need a few more than, uh, see, most of my plays have been kind of checked down. So we have to go for a little bit of a deeper player here. So I go to my post route curl from the outside. Uh, I think it's either gonna be a streak or a, a corner. Let's see. And yeah, I have to change Y over to a flat. Yeah. And so, I mean, he has no idea. He has no idea. Little, like, 7 for 8, and my honest, I should be 8 for 8. Oh, you're, Jesus, bro, why you got cap? I'm just having fun. That's the biggest thing, too, bro. You just have to have fun. So many people, like, panic. Like, that's the thing, like, when I played Nick Hackle, too, like, that game, I wasn't having no fun. Oh, I think right here we're going to a touch pass. Yeah, I didn't like this part of the field. I didn't like the situation I was in. So we went for a touch pass right here, actually. Uh, I wanted a big play, and he actually does a good job stopping it, which was kind of demoralizing for me. I'm trying to see what happened. I don't remember a whole lot of it. Was it Boogs? No, Throne refused to get out 146. Throne, I ran the ball like 15 times against Throne. That Bugs jersey on. Thanks, Lone, Lone Joker's never said anything in my chat before, but he calls me cute. I appreciate it, bro. Let me second to 10 here. And right here, we have to get away from the idiot beater just because of the time and situation. You know what I'm saying? So we have to get away from it a little bit. And I'm going for the seam streak right here. I'm going for one of these seams for a touchdown. But I'm not actually able to get it, I think. What do I do? Oh, we have the touchdown. We have Y, bro. I remember being so upset. I mean, this is me literally just like, this is peak of like, I'm so comfortable against this shit. Your cover three beater glitch that you said you could do in trips head end. Can you tell me? I'm not sure what you're talking about, be cool to be honest with you. I'm more than happy to tell you. I just don't know what you're talking about. But, like, this is, like, peak. Like, everything I did here, I felt so comfortable with. And, like, wise, wide open. We just get shedded, which is a little annoying. But still. And we're actually going to take three. And we get ball right here. And, like, watch what I do on offense. We're back with the idiot beater. We're literally right back with the idiot beater. Ad comes in. Wh yo, what's good, Green Chili? Oh, my God. Double ads. He monetized the hell out of this video. Guys, look, like, I have my full, full first uh, offensive possession back, and we're literally just going to idiot beater him again. I have this open. I have my wheel open. That's why we had jukebox uh, to be able to make people miss. Right there, like, I had better instances of it. It was really good when people sent seven, and they and I threw that wheel because they would make the cloud flat miss, and then we're off. But nonetheless, I mean, I mean, you guys can see, like, th this is peak. Like, this is why it's so important to feel comfortable against what you're playing against and just keep going to what works. Did you see me? I've ran this play nine times. What did you win? Uh, I won like five thousand dollars. I won this football. I won that jersey. Oh, this is by Chris Godwin. Uh, hey, you too, Ben. So right here, I'm going to another play. I think what happens here? I think I just oh, I take my hitch. Yeah. And once again, like I said, like I just feel like I I I really don't feel like this guy has a chance of stopping me. Wash now. That's facts, actually. This is my peak. Also, for anybody saying I can't play offense without an escape artist, at James Bong, this is Troy Aikman, dickhead. Yeah, the play's out of post wheel shallow and trips. But you see right there, so like that's an example of me making two people miss. It's just, it's better, like Tyler, it's, it's just better. But you see, like I'm running the same play, that's 10 times I've ran. I'm 9 for 10 on that play. Literally 9 for 10. He can't stop it, so why would I stop running it? There's money on the line, so why would I stop running it? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason to stop running that play. And I think I might actually here. I think I eventually, like, I, I want a big, yeah, I want a bigger player right here. So, second of four, I'm, I'm cool with taking a bigger player right here. And we are able to hit that in route underneath. And if you guys want to see how comfortable I felt, bro, look, look at me in the pocket. Watch Troy Aikman here. My click-ons. You shouldn't be. Make sure you roll out. Look right here, bro. I get blitzed at, and I, like, I, like, I, that's how comfortable I felt back then, bro. That was insane. I think right here, bro, I think I get held to three. Who was your hardest competition at club? Uh, Duke. Duke, for sure. The Duke game was a hell game. Uh, he had nasty streak, and that was my first time playing against a nasty streak ever. Uh, so we're second, second two from the five. I try to touch pass here. He actually stops it. 
So third and third and three from the six. You guys know I hate this situation. I really hate being right here uh, because I can't smart route anything to the end zone. And this is kind of a really, really, really weird route combo that I had. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but like I said, I don't really like anything in this situation, even right now. Nah, P P uh, Pierce, you can see me still running right now. And once again, you guys see me, like, I have shit open, but this is an example of me running a play that I really never ran. And so I just kind of make the reads a little bit late. He plays good defense. He sent the blitz. Um, so it was good. Yeah, be cold. PA wheel shot. But right here, I mean, you see, uh, I have shit open. I take his hat. Good defense for him. So I only get three points there. So he actually has a chance to take the lead still. And he damn near breaks a touchdown out of this. Check this out. Yeah, yeah, King Almighty. It's super similar. Look at this shit, bro. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. He damn near took... Mm, mm, that pisses me off. But nonetheless, we're able to get another stop somewhere along the line. You see, he, he managed to make this his bread drive, too. Oh, what happens here? I'm laughing at him. Oh, he, he hands it off to DeMarco. He didn't realize that his halfback got subbed out. So this guy hands it off to fucking Patrick DeMarco. Show yourself, bro. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I, I notice it. I'm pretty sure I see it. Maybe I don't. I don't know. We'll see my face. Maybe no, it's super similar to trips I've done. You just can't run 146. It doesn't have quite as good of routes, though. A slot doesn't. Yeah, I, I remember laughing at him afterwards. That's funny as fuck. I'm still laughing about that. That shit's funny. So we get a fourth and six right here. Um, I'm concerned. I definitely am. Because, I mean, we're sending the bear at him. But obviously, fourth and six, you don't know what's going to happen. Have you as the coach. And right here... Trying to throw it. I don't know. This might be a rack egg right there if it's not on the run and accurate. But he doesn't have dashing. And that's a shitty Lamar Jackson too. So maybe we got bailed out right there. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I mean, right here I'm up six. And I think, I'm trying to think of what I do here. I'm still passing. Yeah. I'm still passing. I run the same. Look, idiot beater again. Idiot beater again. Idiot beater again. He can't stop this play. So why would I stop running it? Boom. Makes a miss. I never got, I swear, bro, I never got the good jukebox animations in these games. Did I finish Weekly League? Nah, after this I'm going to. You hate playing Weekly League? Uh, I don't know, bro, I kind of hate playing Toters. Even in Weekly League. I think, right here, I'm trying to milk the clock, but I'm still passing, I think, for the most part. Right here, actually, I run 0-1 trap. This is a super 0-1 trap front. I think I take this for a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, I actually called it out. You guys won't be able to hear it, but I actually called it out before. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I called it out right here. I'm watching me. Yeah, I'm shaking my. Yeah, I'm, I'm mumbling underneath my breath saying that this should be a touchdown. Yeah. And then right here, fourth and six, he tries rolling out. Oh, actually, no, that's a replay. My fault. That's a replay. Let's see. Oh, I'm 21. Yeah. And right here, boom, another one. And this is actually a sack fumble. Dude, love that shit? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Talbans. Right here, sack fumble. We're able to pick it up with Mike Hole. 10 cap. I told you I had 10 caps on the field. A little stop and go, getting around Lamar. Trying to push it, trying to push it, trying to push it. And we got tackled at the one-yard line, which was frustrating. I was very upset that we got tackled at the one. But no, that's, that's wrapping up those two segments, bro. Now, if you guys did enjoy that style of video, and I know it was a little bit different, it's a way longer clip for my YouTube, so I, or for my Twitch, rather, so I did not expect everybody just sticking around. But if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go into the comment section right now, drop a hashtag, SivWave, hit the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow.